now only on News 5, restoring Colorado's important railroad history here in Colorado Springs. A project lasting more than a decade is now moving back to the narrow gauge rails on the Colorado New Mexico border. Our Bill Folsom was there as the old steam engine joined the Cumbres and Toltec fleet. This car originally was constructed in 1889. This is one of 10 ever made for the Denver River Grand Railroad. Now on its way back to Colorado narrow gauge rails. It's going to be the only one of its kind that we know of that's been restored. Every other Saturday, we enjoy it. A volunteer Cumbers and Toltec Railway Friends project. It's been going on for 11 years. The car was found in a New Mexico farmer's field used as a shed. The structure in good shape. The inside stripped. We only know what it looks like from some photographs we got from the Smithsonian Institution. An immigrant sleeper car made for less wealthy travelers. We had all these brass castings made. Seating areas that fold into sleeping spaces. A space for two, less than three feet wide and only five feet eight inches long. This wasn't made for comfort, this was utilitarian. Smaller for narrow gauge rail, a system better suited for tight turns on Colorado's mountain routes. So it's easier to follow the canyons, the, the crevices, the ups and downs. The restoration happened here at the Trolley Museum in Colorado Springs. It is right next to railroad tracks, only their regular gauge for modern trains. So the restoration had to be lifted by a crane, put on a flatbed, and will go by truck to the southern Colorado border and those narrow gauge rails. The railroads are a big part of Colorado history. The sleeper car joins the old 168 steam engine leased and moved from a Colorado Springs park five years ago. It's back functioning. The two cars now more than museum pieces to view. When you're riding that train, you're out in the total wilderness. It's uh, like it would be 1800s all over again. Something to see and now to experience. Watching out for you, Southern Colorado, Bill Folsom, News 5.